Okay, I'm gonna walk down a 8R, 8 series front axle options at a high level. Obviously this is your independent link suspension. So this is your ILS. It's easy to identify because it has a shock in the front. It's not a solid axle. You should be able to make some determination that it pivots. So it goes up and down as the tractor moves. Uh, it does just have a 1500 series hub on it. Can't see that in here right now. 1500 series hub is approved for front duels. So the ILS or the 1500 can accept those. 1300 is not recommended, although you can do whatever you want. So here is a new, a 15 and newer 1300 front axle. We identify it by the, sorry. We identify it by Mickey Mouse ears. Also, it will have you have the lines for your wheel angle wheel angle sensor. Excuse me. On the side here, it's got the. It's hard to see with the sun a little bit, but it's. Uh, marked R344400 so any of them that have uh, that late of a number R starting with the 3 will be also has the sensor holes if you, in case you're running 2 or running one side different so that's the late 1300 this is the 1500 the hub looks the same as the ILS because it is the same hub now from the knuckle in it's completely different got the hole with the plug there on the end, the large plug in the center. So that's how you can tell the 1500. Also the 1500 is a solid front axle. So no independence or no suspension. It's also got a huge drag link here that the 1300 doesn't have. And then here is the Some of those can be three and four pinion. The numbers would tell us. He does have the screw holes for the wheel angles sensor. Here you can see that it has Using them, it doesn't matter. But if you get an older style and you need those holes, then then they won't work, or you have no way to attach that. And there's a 30 series down here. We'll take a look at that. All right, so here's a 30 series that has the wheel angle sensor fittings on one side. The hub is still smooth. This side does not have the wheel angle sensors and no part number. So this would be the original, if you will. They started changing these in uh, late serial number 30 series, and then now all of your replacements get it too. So there's your 1300, 1500 and 1500 ILS, just a quick visual idea of how to tell the differences.